You know I'm speeding, baby, I'm speeding. I got the gas and now how is the city? We're here with 2017 iHeartRadio nominee, performer, and Toronto's very own Jazz Cartier. How does it feel to be performing for the first time in one of Toronto's biggest parties, the MMBAs? I mean, it's pretty surreal because I grew up around here and I always see the whole production every year and now I'm like performing pretty uh, next level. Do you have a favorite venue that you like to perform in in the city? I'm gonna say the Phoenix. And you usually hang from the roofs at your shows, right? So Sometimes. where would you like to hang from while performing in Toronto? Ideally, yeah. CN Tower. That would be cool. That would be terrifying. I mean, we should try it one day. Spur of the moment, the adrenaline just hits you and you don't really think about it. Yeah. Repercussions. And for after hours, what's your favorite place or where's your favorite place to party? After hours? Yeah. Oh no, those get scary. I'm, I'm, I'm way past the after hour lifestyle anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that's just bad on the body. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, after parties in Toronto, they, they go to like 2 p.m. Okay. Can't do that anymore. Is there anything that you really miss about Toronto when you're away? I guess the people, you know? Um, just, just like the vibe, you know? I think for the past year and a half, I haven't really been here that much. So like, whenever I am here, I just, you know, I don't take anything for granted anymore. And if you had to sum up Toronto in three words, I always find this really tricky, but if you had to sum it up in three words, what would you? Best city ever. And after the MMBAs, where in Toronto will you go to celebrate? After the MMBAs, we are, I'm hosting at Union. I've never been to Union before. Actually, I think I have once for an MMBA after party, actually, years ago. I probably got thrown out, but now <laughs> I'm hosting it. So, you know, tables have turned, my friend.